Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. This is a compilation of all the vegan food I had during my latest trip to Singapore. First up, Green Common. They serve all kinds of dishes featuring Omni meat. They also sell a bunch of vegan snacks here. I highly recommend getting the Omni luncheon fries. Next up is Nom Vinom Bistro. They have a couple branches, but this location serves more than just burgers. During my first trip to Singapore as a vegan, I tried a lot of their burgers, and they all taste good. As a matcha-holic, I approve their matcha ice cream. Another awesome place for junk food lovers is Love Handle. They sell all kinds of plant-based meat here, and their burgers are satisfying. Next is a cozy cafe named Lilac Oak. They serve common brunch menu like sandwiches, waffle, gelato, pastries, and coffee. If you like to drink, you should check out Analog. It is a classy plant-based bar. Every dish we had was delicious. I especially love the chicken nuggets and the poutine. My non-vegan friends were impressed. I definitely returned here to try their other dishes. I find every Indian food I had in Singapore, even just from a random stall, impressive. You can't go wrong with Indian food in Singapore. The one restaurant that stood out to me the most is Raj. To this day, I still crave for their special miso masala dosa. Makan Vegan in Geylang is probably the most affordable and local vegan spot in town. All the places I mentioned so far could be skipped if you have limited time in Singapore, but you shouldn't miss out on this one. Sao Te Sang offers a variety of fusion food, from Western to Asian. I always get the fried abalone mushroom with teriyaki sauce and the vegan black truffle or luwak, aka oyster pancakes. Next up is Herbivore, a Japanese vegetarian restaurant. This place seems to be busy all the time, so reservation is recommended. Out of all the dishes we ordered, I really liked the salmon sashimi and the teriyaki mushroom. If you're craving for Korean food, the boneless kitchen is the place to go. Everything here tastes authentic, and my favorite dish is the odengbokum, which is spicy fried tofu. Next is my number one favorite restaurant out of all, Eight Treasures Vegetarian. This was one of the best Chinese meals I've had so far in my life. I am in love with their shark fin soup. Most of their meat substitute is made using lion's mane mushroom, which is the best and the healthiest meat substitute. I wish I discovered this restaurant sooner so I could try more of their dishes. Now let's talk about desserts. If you love mochi ice cream, Kane Mochi currently offers two vegan-friendly flavors, which are mango and passion fruit. If you love matcha, you must stop by Huala. Besides matcha drinks, they offer plenty of vegan-friendly desserts. For now, they only have oat milk substitute for the drinks. I wish they would offer soy milk option in the future, because I believe matcha goes best with soy milk. They have three levels of intensity for the matcha gelato. Light, medium, and strong. Of course, I love the strong one. For just 80 cents, you can get a piece of this traditional pancake with different fillings, which are peanut, coconut, red bean paste, and lotus paste. You better come here early, because by the time I got here in the afternoon, they only got one flavor left. The texture is on point. Lastly, I just want to mention two restaurant cafe chains you can spot easily in Singapore. First one is Settily. I love their soy latte. They also offer a couple healthy tasting plant-based sandwiches. Another one is Privé. They offer quite a few vegan options. Although most of the dishes I had were mediocre, their impossible sliders gave me foodgasm. If you choose to dine here, just get the sliders. Thank you so much for watching! I hope you find this video helpful. For more detailed reviews of each restaurant, check out my Singapore travel vlog. If you have any other recommendations, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe!